Good morning. Day two, I've had a shower, a lukewarm shower only, alas, and it's one of those showers where you have to keep pressing the button to keep the water flowing, and I counted, I had to press the button every three seconds, which was infuriating. But I'm washed and clean, and I'm having Rice Krispies for breakfast. First stop this morning, who can resist a trip up Cockett Hill on the edge of Clanghorse Mountain? One thing that uh, this has certainly shown me is that I am massively unfit. Barely a, barely a few yards from the van and I'm about ready to die. But if it wasn't for all the mist, this would be a spectacular view. I have reached what is surely the top. Oh no, hang on a minute, there's a bit more. Here we go to the final peak of this hill. And oh, for crying out loud, there's more! With the clouds and the mist rolling in over the hill, I fear that all that might be found of us is just this camcorder and the recordings in a Blair Witch style horror vlog. Think kindly of me in the years to come. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh. You almost can't see it through the mist and cloud, but that is Flangorse Lake, where I was yesterday. Somewhere in there. As the carpenters once said, I'm on the top of the world, looking down on creation. And I can't remember the rest of the lyrics. But this is a pretty good view, isn't it? Even allowing for the vague hint of cloud and mist. And look at that blue sky, a promising omen for the day. Excuse the wobbling, that's on a rather high zoom. There we go. That's where the van is. Hello, where's the van gone? My navigator sadly has passed away through the exhaustion and lack of oxygen at this terrible altitude. <laughs> Are you dead? Yeah. Yes. Oh dear. I started out the morning saying I was going in search of the Black Mountains. And those are they, in the distance. I do not propose to walk to them. The mist is clearing ever so slightly, and that is a better view of Langorse Lake. I hope you're appreciating my excellent Welsh pronunciation here of Langorse. Let's see if the sheep approves. Does the sheep approve of my pronunciation? I'll take that as a yes. At the risk of sounding like David Attenborough explaining something about nature and wildlife, there is only one word for a view like this. And that word is...
have arrived on the Black Mountains, which are a little bit windy, but there is that hint of blue sky, which is very nice. I'm reliably assured that is Hay Bluff. But most splendidly of all, that hill with the light rays wrapping round it is genuinely called Lord Hereford's Knob. In videography, I do not normally advocate the panning shot because it's like you're trying to take too much in. But frankly, there is no other way to show you how utterly splendid this view of the Wye Valley is, other than gently moving the camera across it. And I don't think the camera is doing justice to it either. Equally, I don't know if the camera is quite capturing the undulations in the ground, but these are presumably Lord Hereford's mini knobs. For completeness, and just so I can say it once again really, that is the arse end of Lord Hereford's knob. And that stunning view from the same point but turning the camera is the Gospel Pass which we are now driving down. Ain't that something? We have stopped at Llanthony Priory, which is very old. The Priory apparently dates back originally to about 1100, with additions in the 12th and 13th centuries. Just extraordinary, so, 
stunning even in ruins. This is what remains of the chapter house. There's just the remains of these stone steps going round in a, not a spiral is it, it's a helix pattern around this tower. They fall away, there's not a lot of them left. But if I just tilt the camera upwards, Good morning. The temperature when I went to bed last night was minus two degrees Celsius, but thanks to a very warm sleeping bag and a couple of blankets on top, I was perfectly toasty all night. This morning, still chilly, so I tried turning on the heater just to take the edge off uh, before I got out of the sleeping bag, and that worked very well indeed. Although now I've turned the heater off, as soon as you turn these air heaters off, it's remarkable how quickly the chill can return. It is chucking it down with rain, but alas, it is the day of my return, so I will be driving home in the torrential dampness. I've had a good trip, and I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. There will be more travelling vlogs soonish. Any comments, questions? Leave them down below. Cheerio!